Welcome back to phase four of the guide to online marketing and sales. And of course, phase four is your Google authorship. And this is module five in phase four. And in this module, we're going to be talking about little known secrets on LinkedIn. And our video will be going here. But first, I want to show you how our website is doing and it wasn't supposed to be even released until the day before yesterday. Here we are on Google and I did a search for guide to online marketing. Now let's be fair, let's hide personal results. And as you can see, there's lots of competition for this keyword. Of course, you're not going to find us on page one yet for a keyword like that, but here we are on page two already. And we also have a video on page two in our images. We've got a couple of images right there at the top on the videos. The whole page one. I'm not sure about page two today. All except one. And let's go to YouTube. And as I scroll down here, I see nothing but our videos. All the way down to Kimberly here. Looks like we have the whole page one of YouTube other than one video. So our website is getting itself out there. It's getting known, it's getting subscribers, and that's what this is all about. Now let's talk about LinkedIn. And what you need to do is go to LinkedIn.com. And if you don't have an account here, you can just join. And make sure that you use your gmail account for this you can't change your email at least not up to this point in time you can't once you create it so what you want to do is sign up with a gmail account and if you have one already log in new people in your network since january 16th 509 in two weeks that's not too bad at all Okay, let's take a look at our document here. Why use LinkedIn? There are between 150 and 175 million users. These people are executives, professionals, business owners, job seekers, etc. And the average LinkedIn user earns more than $100,000 a year. Most of these people use LinkedIn to enhance their careers by connecting to influencers in their industry. These people are buyers. This isn't like Facebook where people play. These are very professional people. Also, Google sees LinkedIn as an authority site, so one link from LinkedIn is like getting 20 from a regular site. What kind of results will you get? Uh, many people are here to find outsourcers. They don't have time to do work on their own, so they are looking to hire people basically to do things for them and looking to buy things that will make their life and career easier. And you'll get a lot of business leads or clients from LinkedIn. You will gain credibility here. And this is a great place to promote events. What you want to do is keep your profile the same rate right in line anyway with your G Plus profile. Let's go take a look at mine. This is the one that I'm just setting up for a guide to online marketing and sales. And you can see up here how I use these, I'm not even sure what you call them here, but spacers, I guess. And these are just like keywords. Guide to online marketing and sales, online marketing specialist, this is where you want to brand yourself, right up here. And if you mess over this, you can edit your profile, view your profile, 
check out your recommendations and so on. Now your summary. This is where you want to put your keywords to. As you can see here it says help other people learn the ropes of developing their own website through web marketing search engine optimization. We are creating a complete guide to online marketing and sales. Tools of internet marketing. Internet marketing and sales. And getting ranked on search engines. You want to use your main keywords here and again be professional here. Down here you have your skills and your expertise which are almost like keywords again and your education and eventually as you get to know people and people get to know you you're going to get a lot of recommendations. Let's go take a look at my other account that's been around for a while. As you can see here I have quite a few people that have endorsed me and this is not solicited. I haven't asked people to do this. And when you've been around LinkedIn for a while too you're going to end up being invited into groups. And groups can be very useful in this too. Okay, let's go back to my other profile. This is actually what your profile is going to look like once you get it set up. So anyone that's interested in search engine optimization should use their Google Plus image. Okay, I want to show you how powerful these connections actually are. Let's go back to my other account that's been around for a while. And right now I'm actually on the home page, LinkedIn Home. And let's scroll down on the right. Okay, right here I have 138 connections. And those 138 connections connect me to 2,679,120 professionals. This means 23,829 new people in my network since January 28th and today's February 3rd. So once you learn how to use LinkedIn right, this can be very powerful. Let's go back to the document for a minute. Okay, you can only have one business page. What I may end up doing is getting rid of my profile that I just set up for the training purposes. And you can have 10 groups of your own. You can be a part of 50 groups from other people. Now if you create a group and you optimize your title properly you can start to invite your contacts into this group. If they decide to join you can ask them to confirm and they get added to your autoresponder list. So this is another great way to build your list. And what you really want to do is stick to people within your niche market, your niche. Now when you're making connections you're allowed to import from email accounts, not recommended. Start out slowly adding people. They will find you if you build your profile right, using the right keywords, etc. Groups are a great way to make new connections. Once you have your profile set up, you start making posts in your related niche and you will make connections. Why are connections important? Well, if we scroll down here, remember, again, 23,831 new people in the last five days. So build your connections. One more thing to mention before we leave is up until very, very recently, LinkedIn had a way you could add videos and links directly to your blog, from your blog. And right now they're going through changes as usual in edit profile. This summary is going to make some changes and they're going to allow us to, as I say, add links directly from our blog and videos right into our LinkedIn account. We will have to do a training on this in the future sometime. Right now it's going for a test run. 
So I'll see you in the next module here, and the next one is going to be on how to use Twitter.